In this video, I'll very quickly show you how you can make a stylized buckyball for your scientific figures. Go ahead and grab your default cube, hit X and delete it. Shift A and add in an icosphere. We're going to use the default settings. Come up to edit, preferences, go to add-ons and make sure that you have the tissue add-on installed. Once this box is checked, we're good to go. So we'll exit this menu, hit F3 for our operator search and we're going to look for convert to dual mesh. We're going to hit enter on convert to dual mesh and right away you can see that we've got this nice little fullerene already. I'm going to come to the modifier properties, add in a modifier, and in this case I'm going to go with wireframe. Now that's a little bit thin for my taste so I'm going to bring that thickness up to 0.06. And again this is also a little bit too angular for my taste so I'm going to add another modifier, namely a bevel. I'll bring the segments up to 2 and the offset, I'll leave the offset where it is. I'll right click and shade smooth. And just like that, out of the box, I would have a reasonably decent looking fullerene or buckyball figure. I want to actually put little spheres on each of these verts though, so that I have that kind of effect of having atoms there. To do that, I'm going to hit shift A and I will add in a UV sphere. Control two to add in two subdivisions and right click to shade smooth. We'll now just hit G and we'll drag that out of the way so it's not interfering with our working space. Grab that icosphere again tab into edit mode, make sure that you are selecting all the verts with one, and then A to actually select everything. You can see that we have 80 verts on this object. What we're going to do now is come to particle properties, add in a particle system, and not emitter, we're going to go for hair. The number is going to be 80, which is the number of verts, and for source we're going to change this from faces to verts. We're actually going to check modifier stack and uncheck random order. Now if we tab out, you can see there are hairs and they're going all over the place. We don't want hairs, we actually want that sphere. So we're going to go to render, render as, path, no, object, yes. And for the instance object, we're going to select the sphere that we just added. Those spheres are huge, so we're going to bring that scale down to 0.02. It's a good look. And now you can see that the spheres are on the fullerene or the buckyball, but they're all sort of in the wrong place. And to fix that, we're just going to come to the material or sorry, the modifier properties. And we're going to bring that particle system to the top of the modifier stack above the wireframe and above the bevel. And now just like that, we've got our fullerene, buckyball, whatever you want to call it. And we have nice little atoms on all of the verts. If we hit Z and drag down to material preview, you have a sense of what this could look like in a final render. I leave the materials and scene set up to the dealer's choice. But as always, thanks for coming out. If this has been at all helpful, consider subscribing and sharing with your friends and colleagues. And have yourself a great old day.